All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, go over how to make a PZ map of a continuous time system. So if I look at the help documentation for PZ map, you'll see that it says I need a system, and I can make that system using either transfer functions or state space or uh, uh, RPK, uh, which may be uh, any of those will work. But for now, I'm just going to use a transfer function. I'm going to call it SYS for system is equal to TF of, uh, I don't know, let's say 300 zero, zero, uh, as the numerator, 1, comma, 0.5, comma, negative 0.5 in the denominator. All right, so that should be uh, 3S squared over S plus 0.5 or sorry, over s squared plus 0.5s minus 0.5. So if I do that, you can see that that's what I get. And then I can actually plot this uh, by using the command pz map of sys. And what it will do is give me a plot in the s plane that looks like this. So the horizontal axis here is the real axis, the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. Okay, so it's really that simple. 